Hello, I'm Dennis Saviano. I'm a professor of nutrition at Purdue University. I've studied lactose intolerance since the 1980s. I've been interested in how one helps individuals include dairy in their diet. The classic lactose intolerance response would be stomach rumbling, stomach distension, and some flatulence. And if it were severe, if you had a large dose, you, you might, but it's extremely rare, have some very acute diarrhea. Most Australians, most Americans, most Europeans are not getting enough calcium in their diet. But even more importantly, these individuals who avoid uh, dairy have lower bone densities. We've shown in the United States with girls all the way from Hawaii to Ohio that even at the age of 13, girls who've avoided milk already have lower bone densities. The intestinal bacteria are highly adaptable. So drinking milk or twice a day, maybe for 21 days to start, start with very small amounts and work your way up to a glass uh, twice a day can adapt the intestinal bacteria. We've shown in several studies, both with lactose and with galactolicosaccharide, significant and important changes in the intestinal microbiome that help lactose digestion and lactose tolerance. So adaptation. If you cut milk out of your diet completely for, for a long period of time, start back slowly. A couple times a day, small amounts, work your way up. Within three weeks or so, you'll be back to being able to drink a couple of cups a day. So for people with lactose intolerance, uh, the Australian rec uh, recommendations are that one eats uh, hard cheeses, cheeses that have uh, low lactose, all hard cheeses have low lactose, uh, that one eats yogurts, they're very well tolerated, and that if you spread your, your milk out with small doses, a, a serving or less, with meals, then it's, it's much better tolerated. So that's good advice for, for anyone who wants to add dairy back into their diet.